Traders, I'm going to finish my day here uh, in green, mainly thanks to Tesla, as you can see here. I had my share of winners, I had my share of losers, actually had uh, two winners, two losers. And uh, let's quickly go through this. One of them, I'll start with TWLO, which uh, just went sideways and now actually moving higher. That was, that was supposed to be a gap and go and that just didn't happen. It retested the low several times. It's just one of these times where a stock doesn't want to go where it should go. Um, then, actually, my first trade was plug long, and that was a beautiful trade. You know, plug is up today in a big way. You see, it's a big gap up. And the way it moved higher, it really proved to me that it wants to continue. And although after I moved in, it pulled back down a little bit, and it was very, very close to my stop. You see, my stop was right over here. And then it came back to its senses and moved over the high. So that's a beautiful winner for me in plug. Now, if you take a look at uh, uh, the way it behaved today, that's a beautiful technical formation, a nice continuation, and that really worked out fine. Uh, CCIV was a loser because it was just going sideways. Uh, Tesla was trending lower very clearly, but uh, kind of changing its direction right now because the market really is just going sideways. In fact, uh, the reason I want to talk to you, what the main thing I want to talk to you about is the market. Um, you know, my account, my PL today represents a Friday. And that's what I want you to remember from this uh, short lesson we're going to have right now. So it's not about how much uh, money I made or lost, because as you can see here, I have two winners and two losers, which, and, and you know, being up $2,000 or a bit more than that means nothing to me because right now I could have finished, I could have easily finished in uh, red territory today and I was red for a while. So um, Tesla saved my day and uh, CCIV took a bit of my profit, but that's a typical Friday. And you do need to remember that Fridays usually uh, look just like that, which means you do not expect big moves on Friday. You expect the market to consolidate on Friday. Usually the big moves are made, you have to remember that, big moves are usually made on Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, so you can see that uh, Wednesday was a big move, uh, big gap down, then the move up, and uh, Thursday was also another big. Line. That's not, it's not always like that. But you do not expect a big move on Friday. They do happen, of course, they do happen. But you know, when the market is just going sideways, and as you can see, this is the uh, what you're seeing here is the S&P 500. I'm going to show you uh, the Nasdaq. Here it is. It's actually uglier just going sideways so when the market's going sideways and the stock that you're trading is sometimes following the market just like tesla came down uh, because the market initially came down and then was trying to move down again and then just decided to move sideways because the market's moving sideways you know stocks are usually following the market and when they're following the market and the market's going sideways they could spike up and down like a roller coaster uh, not necessarily making big moves uh, because again, it's a Friday and usually Friday, since it's close to the weekend, uh, people are taking off for the weekend and there's a lot of, uh, uh, you know, less volatility, less volume in the markets. And that's why the market behaves this way. And when the market behaves this way on a Friday, uh, you, your chance of, you know, having two winners and two losers, just like I do today, is greater than on a normal day. So if on a regular day, I would expect uh, to be like with three winners, one loser on average, on a Friday, I'll be lucky if I would have the same. So what you're supposed to be doing on a Friday really is reducing your size, making sure you're getting into the right trades, trying to follow the market, see if the market is making any decision, uh, trying to understand better the market. Don't expect big market moves. Uh, when the market does move and you're getting a partial, take quicker partials usually, although I did trust Tesla today and it did continue moving down. But again, uh, don't expect too much on a Friday. That's what I'm trying to say here. Don't expect too much on a Friday. Don't expect big moves on Fridays unless, you know, we do have plug, which has a life of its own today. Uh, but usually stocks would not make big moves. And uh, uh, you could get stuck like CCIV, definitely. 
like CCIV, for example, uh, you could get stuck with a stock which is just going sideways with the market. And it's more likely to happen on a Friday than in any other day. So I'm lucky to be in green. I'm lucky to have better winners than losers. And uh, I don't know if it's luck or, or knowledge or trusted more the stocks that, uh, uh, that, that did well or, you know, Tesla was definitely trending lower nicely and I trusted it more and, and you know, I trusted the trend and it came down and I took a little bit more than I expected. So otherwise I would have been in red or maybe, you know, just, a, you know, I, I took extra profit in Tesla today. And if I would reduce this extra profit, because my target was not $12,000 profit, as you can see here, was probably around $8,000 or $9,000, which is exactly the difference between finishing in uh, red or in green, or maybe just slightly red or green. And again, uh, I was a bit lucky and I did trust the trend and it finally and it worked out nice for me, but you really never ever know what's coming next on a Friday. Usually the market's not moving. Just remember that. Be careful on the Friday. I did see some traders uh, along my trading career, 21 years of trading, that sometimes they just don't trade on Fridays. Now, I, I do tend to finish Fridays in a green note and I, I, I like trading on Fridays because, well, you know, it's another trading day and it's fun and it's just... <laughs> before the weekend and I kind of like it but you know if, if I would have to choose a day if I would have to choose a day I will not trade that would definitely be Friday that would be the day so I choose to trade but uh, but Fridays I would say are uh, probably uh, the less interesting days well of course there are some interesting Fridays I'm not saying all Fridays look the same uh, there are some and Potentially, the market could move over the highs and make a big move today and you could still find some interesting day trades. But please remember, lots of people are taking off early for the weekend. Our volume is usually low, the volatility is lower, but we do have some interesting days on the Fridays sometimes. Anyway, I want to thank you for a perfect week. We really enjoyed this week. That was great. Uh, I really had a very, very good week. I don't remember if I had a losing day. I don't think I did this week. Anyway, um, and one big uh, profitable day uh, that was yesterday. So I hope you enjoyed too. And I want to see you all next week. And uh, hopefully another great week next week. So thank you for participating. Um, and um, hopefully we helped you learn a bit more about trading this week. And we promise to do the same next week. So thank you all. Have a great weekend all. And um, stay green and healthy. Bye traders.